up fellow aviators? Today I'm coming to you from the cockpit of the 414 and I want to show you all the fuel system on this airplane. It's kind of complicated. This particular version or model has five fuel tanks. There are different variations based off the model, but the one we're flying today has five tanks. And those consist of the main tanks, which are located on the tip of the wings, and then your auxiliary fuel tank, which is located just inboard. Now there's also a wing locker tank on this particular model that we're not going to be using today. We're really just discussing the main tanks and the auxiliary tanks. So let me tell you how this works. When you fly, you must take off and land on the mains. Then, when you burn the mains down, I like to go about halfway at least, then we switch to the auxiliary tanks. Now the thing that's tricky is when you switch to the auxiliary tanks, the pump empties the tanks pretty rapidly. Faster actually than the engine can use the fuel. So what happens is about a third of the fuel goes to your engine and is burned, and the rest of the fuel is then vented back into the main tanks. So if you don't burn your main tanks down first before switching to the aux tanks, there's no room for the extra fuel, and it'll just be vented overboard. And you don't want that because then you have less gas than you plan for. That's not a good thing. Here's the fuel selector valves for each engine. And as you can see, we have multiple options for each selector. We take off and land on the main tanks, and then after we've burned down about halfway, we switch to the aux, which is what I've done here. Now the gauge in this airplane, you use the same gauge to show the fuel for each tank. And the way that works is this little switch here. When you're on the main tanks, it shows the fuel in the main tanks. When you switch to the auxiliary tanks, your auxiliary lights come on and it shows the amount of fuel in the aux tanks. So we've almost burned the aux tanks down now to empty. And what has happened is our main tanks have actually filled up more fuel than when we started. Because when I switched to the auxiliary tanks, the main fuel was down here about 30 gallons. And now we have about 42 gallons. What that means is about 12 gallons per side was pumped back into the main tanks. Now, since I burned them down first before I switched to the auxiliary, that means there was room for the fuel. And we're using it. But if you don't burn your mains down first, the excess fuel is vented overboard, and that can put you into a tricky situation. So here's a prime example of why you need to know your systems, and it'll keep you out of trouble in the air. Don't run out of gas. Fly safe. We'll catch you in the next one.